It's like when people go and do karaoke. Man, we're off on a trip today. But when people go and do karaoke and they sit back down and someone goes, well, that wasn't very good. What were you thinking they were going to bust out? Adele. Simon of the Bald Asshole here, and I did not think I'd be talking about this today, but you just never know what's going to happen in the world. Maybe, look, given what's happened in 2020 so far, surely at one point we're going to wake up and you're going to turn on the news and they're going to say, aliens, aliens have officially arrived on Earth and they have said their first order of business is to wipe out the human race. And you're just going to go, yep, that sounds about right. I mean, the absolute just bizarreness of these last few months. Anyway, let's not worry about that. This isn't as strange as that. But look, I'm a big boxing fan. We've talked about boxing here on the channel before. And this just takes all my interests and throw it into a big bubble. The Mike Tyson uh, biopic is actually going ahead. That's been rumored for about what, 76 years now. I think it went back to Roman times. Even Julius Caesar was like, I wonder what's going to happen with the Mike Tyson biopic. Jamie Foxx is playing the lead. Interesting story about Jamie Foxx. He first met Mike Tyson when he was doing stand-up comedy as a kid, and he did an impression of Mike Tyson. And if you haven't heard his impression of Mike Tyson, you should check it out. It is spot on. So when he does play that role, I smell Oscars. Not literally, because that would be weird. I don't have one of those statuettes. Anyway, he was doing an Instagram Live with a Hollywood producer. I can't remember his name now, but I'll play the clip. It's a quick picture of what I look like. Wow. So now we're yeah, it looks like young Mike right there. Young Mike. And here's the other one. There we go. We on our way. Incredible. So once that once that happens, and that is be, movie magic because I saw your arms the other day, and I'm just saying they weren't. So so once that huh? Once <laughs> that I saw the other day, you weren't ripped like that. So movie yeah. magic is real. So once that happens, once that and that was a, that was a picture like just a you know like a couple of months ago. Once that happens, then we'll start to add on who he is and what he is. Uh, just the way he orders his food, what he cares about. And I think that's what will make the movie go. So now you've seen it. Um, and he essentially said, yep, he confirmed the movie, but also showed off these kind of, as you just saw, these interesting pictures. And I say interesting, I'll explain in a second, of what his physique now looks like. Now, the interesting thing is you can't really see it. He certainly does look more... Uh, when well, he looks bigger and he looks leaner and he looks more ripped than I've ever seen Jamie Foxx look. I don't think he's ever, I think he's done body transformation things, but top of my head, I can't, Im I can't think of a, an equivalent, but he is a very, he's an amazing actor, Jamie Foxx. So he may have done all the uh, method stuff. I'm not sure. And the interesting thing is he mentioned that there's going to be a lot of shifting around with his weight. I think he said he's going to start around 216 pounds and he's going to go up to like 225, 230 to try and represent what Mike Tyson looked at the time. So straight away, the question is, all right, Jamie Foxx, how, how did you, I shouldn't laugh. Maybe there's some truth to it. How did you put on all this bulk? And he said, and I'm just going to say as, as he said it, every other day I've been doing 60 pull-ups, 60 dips and 100 press-ups. And I was like, look, I'm a, a huge advocate for bodyweight exercises. I, I mentioned this on all the videos to the point that it's incredibly boring. I get it. I understand. I'm like Stone Cold on his podcast, if you've ever seen that before. Stone Cold on his podcast is amazing. He's told that one story about how Vince McMahon wouldn't let him talk on, on comms and he begged him to give him mic time at least, at least 42,000 times. And I love hearing it on every occasion. It comes down to genetics. It comes down to diet. It comes down to a whole other things. But if, if, if the plan for Jamie Foxx is to every other day just do, was it 60 pull-ups, 60 uh, dips or whatever, and uh, 100 push-ups, I think we may, we may need to do a little bit of a tweak. I'm not 100% sure that's going to be enough for, for muscle synthesis. Fair play to him, though. He is being quite real with the whole thing. He mentioned his legs. And he said, I got no legs. I'm not going to be working on my legs. We'll probably have to get prosthetics for my calves. I would like some of those. If anyone knows where I can get prosthetics for my calves, get in touch. That's the number one insult comment I get. But you got crappy calves. I'm like, yes, I don't care. I do work them. Maybe I don't work them hard enough. I don't know. But I'm all right with having crappy calves. It's a strange thing to say to someone. <laughs> Your calves are terrible. Okay, so when people go and do karaoke, man, we're off on a trip today. But when people go and do karaoke and they sit back down and someone goes, well, that wasn't very good. What were you thinking they were going to bust out? Adele. Did you, you think you'd just be like, it's the most beautiful performance I've ever seen. Karaoke is meant to be crap. It's like if you go watch a charity football game with celebrities and they're rubbish and you go, well, he'd never make it in the Premier League. No, he's not a football player. Anyway, I don't want to start talking about karaoke. But it is, we've, we've talked about actor transformations before. Deep down, do I actually think that's his routine and regime? Maybe, 
given that we're living in the lockdown era and gyms are starting to open again. But I don't think you can put on a mass amount of muscle. Some people probably could, depending what else was going on. But again, it's one of those things that I read and I get it. I'd be influenced and inspired by it too, especially if I looked up to Jamie Foxx. But if I read this is all I'm doing, I think, well, maybe I should do that. I would certainly ensure that you are working your legs, ensure that you are doing more for your back and your biceps and your chest and your shoulders. I don't think that's enough. But again, absolutely, you should be doing pull-ups. You should be doing dips. You should be doing sit-ups. You should be doing push-ups. You should be doing all those things. I just think if you have the tools at your disposal, which we always do because you are your own tool in this scenario, it seems daft not to use it. And I'm sure once the movie gets a bit more of uh, momentum going and a bit more publicity and a bit more promotion, everybody will be doing Jamie Foxx uh workout diets and what he did how i got like mike tyson and i'd imagine there's a lot more to it than this the other interesting thing is obviously production got shut down when all of hollywood had to shut down and the producer that was interviewing jamie fox <laughs> kind of dissed him and went well i saw the other day and your arms didn't look like that and he goes oh no man this was just taken a couple of months ago that's a lot of muscle to lose in a short amount of time Seems a little bit strange, but again, I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs. Maybe he was just doing that. But then if he was just doing that, you could continue to do it in your house. It's very, very odd. But anyway, look, it's another one of those things that we can keep an eye on. Uh, if he is going to shift sort of 15 pounds throughout the movie, that's a stone for people over here in the UK that use that system. It's a, 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 I don't know if he's going to try and look like out of shape Mike Tyson or if he's going to look like super big Mike Tyson. But putting on a stone regardless, even if you're going to put it on in fat, is a miserable experience. Like deep down, we all think we just want to eat pizza and ice cream and nachos and pff, chocolate bars and sweets. But when you're super full... And somebody has told you, oh, no, you've got to keep force, face, force feeding yourself this food. Not only does it suck after a while, but you feel awful mentally. Like you do. Like how often do you over cheat on your diet right at the weekend and you eat too much food and then you feel crappy then you wake up the next day, you're all bloated. You're like, this isn't fun. I'm not getting anything out of this. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated by it. And I'd like to see kind of what story we're going to get from the Mike Tyson uh, movie too because there's a lot to tell there's a lot of ups and there's a lot of downs there's a lot of controversy you know he was at one point one of the most famous people in the world kind of still is my mum knows who Mike Tyson is and that's my barometer for everything if you say mum do you know who Mike Tyson is she will say yes and there are so many people like I'm trying to think of somebody else she probably doesn't know who Lennox Lewis is for example she probably doesn't she probably does know Tyson Fury at the moment but she'll forget but given that Mike Tyson hasn't really been in the public eye for 20 years probably was his last fight maybe 15 years about less than that 12 13 years ago because he fought lewis in 2005 i think i don't know anyway point being he's a big deal hence why someone's making a damn movie about him jamie fox is playing it and that's how he's getting in shape although clearly there must be something else going on there there's the strangest stranger I, I read it twice as like, have i have i am i confused here but that's apparently what he's doing so we will see i'm always interested always love to see with the stuff because i mean like jake gillenhall did it with uh, southpaw obviously robert de niro did it back in the day with raging bull tom hardy did it in the, the film with christian bale the mma one which i now can't remember warrior i think it's called was that mma or boxing can't remember but you know, there are plenty of guys that have got um have got themselves all, all jacked up to play fighters in films and if you are trying, I will say in that picture that Jamie Foxx did share, even though it's grainy and you can't really tell it's low quality, you probably could convince me it was Mike Tyson back in the day if you had wanted to. It's a strange thing to do. It's a waste of your time. There's better ways to, to use these precious seconds we have on Earth. But hey, maybe you get something out of that. Jamie Foxx, Mike Tyson, a lot of damn push-ups. So there you go. There's my thoughts about it. Do I think that's real? No. <laughs> I'm sure he is doing that. I just can't believe that he wouldn't be doing more stuff. But everyone's different. I've talked about this a million times. Uh, like the video, share the video, subscribe, hit the bell button, ding, ding. Uh, any other videos you want me to do, just get in touch. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. Basically, there's a bunch of links in that description. Check them out. See if they work for you. Also got a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Simon316. And that's it. I'm out. Take care.